Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Finally got a new deck. Dipping on some Brisley Wintergreen. Store is out of uh, Copenhagen, but Brisley's good anyway, so not really a loss. So, <clears throat> let me stand up. Tissue, the Shattered Blade. This isn't like the new one, but this is one of those Neon Dynasty ones. I just really wanted another deck to play with. I have two commanders. They're all free cons. Forest, this is mostly a green deck. And this is Hydra. I wonder if I can... Aha! Move this up. Put this more in the middle. It came with two of these, so I'm going to have to take one out. Arcane Signet. And these are double sleeved. <clears throat> I want to play um, was a spell table. I don't have a computer right now. Rhythm of the Wild. Army of Celebration. Kind of a cool looking card. Creature Spirit. Krinko, 10th Street Kingpin. Kind of want to make a uh, <clears throat> goblin deck. I found one online that I'm going to do. Bear, Umbra. Mountain, Cinderglade, Mountain, Primeval Protector. Since I don't have anybody to play with, I thought about recording me playing by myself. And maybe you guys can tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Until I can get spell table. Ox of Agonos. This is another legendary that you can do. It's um, it it won't play well with the cards that are already in here. So you'd have to kind of revamp the whole deck from a video that I saw. Because <clears throat> this deck does a lot of um, not equipment, but like plus plus ones. Can't remember what the terminology for that is. But a lot of uh counter. Sorry guys, this is a big counter deck. I need to get a Lightning Greaves. I feel like that's kind of a staple in a lot of decks. And I don't have, I don't even have one. Collision of Rounds. Mountain. I forgot how I want to stack it so I don't fall all over the place. And I am dipping. Uh, one with Kami, Mountain, Starstorm, or in Reef. Another one of those moss fires that came with two when it's not supposed to, so got to find a good replacement for that. It's a, a land card, so I was trying to see. I don't have a very large collection. I was trying to see if I had something I could just replace it with. Um, and I don't. I was going to go get a pack today to open on video, but they're already closed. The store by me closes at like 9 o'clock. It's funny, I went in the store one day, <clears throat> the, the card store, and wanted to buy a pack. And the store, I think he's one of the owners. If not, he's just one of the like main managers because he's like almost always there. He was telling me that um, it's better to buy singles to get what you actually want unless you're wanting to collect and then build out of your collection. But if you have specific things in mind, um, you definitely want to buy the singles, but it can be kind of pricey. But he was trying to talk me out of buying packs. He was saying that like you start collecting and trying to sell, you're basically trying to do his job and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm not trying to sell cards. I'm trying to collect cards and then 
play the game at the same time. Nobody I know is into playing. Um, I know one person that has cards, but they live kind of far away, and they haven't really seemed all that interested in getting together to play. Uh, they said they have cards, they just haven't learned how to play. And then if they had free time, they'd let me know, but then I never heard anything, and I'm pretty sure they have free time now. So I may reach back out, because they probably just forgot. There's been a lot going on. That's a cool looking card. I just love the artwork. You know? Of course I did that backwards. Instead of doing them the wrong way. I thought, I did put these in red sleeves because I thought it was going to be, um, a red deck, mostly. It's mostly green. Makes sense, though, but looking at the commander, I just didn't realize it, but it's fine. It's fine. Sleeves don't really matter. Just as long as I protect your cards. <clears throat> and I like the color of this red. Invigorating, invigorating hot spring. It's kind of pretty. I will say that is one thing about Magic the Gathering. Well, that got me into Magic the Gathering um, was the artwork on these cards. To me, are just mind-boggling sometimes. Gotta have a soul ring in your pro, your precon, <laughs> your procon, your precon. I like the precons. I, I'm new to Magic: The Gathering, so I don't know how to build a deck on my own. Um, and I feel like getting the precons and kind of playing them and learning how those decks work individually um, will help me learn how to. I mean, I guess I could watch videos and you know different things, but this is I feel like a more organic way to learn. And then it allows me to buy, you know, get cards. And I can always break these down and build another deck out of it. Because I also have this one, which is mostly red. It's a dragon deck. So I could probably mush some of these together. And make a dragon slash green monster deck. Because this is kind of, our taco one is kind of tribal. This one is not, like, our talk is all dragons, like, that's, that's it. This has all kinds of stuff in it. And that's another one that I think is kind of cool looking. There's only 15 new cards in here, which they're not new anymore, because this Neon Dynasty has been out for a while, but, uh, Blue Guardian. I didn't know it was kind of interesting looking. <laughs> and then look at the artwork on that. Tawashi Guidebot. Just beautiful. I love like purple anyways. And then put blue with it and it's just, it pops. And then I just got like a clear. Am I doing it right? Yeah. 
Oh, it's new. That's why. I click when they're new sometimes. But this is just a basic. I just got a basic clear one. I like the clear ones because then you can see what's in there. You know, to open it, you just. I mean, not that hard. But. <laughs> And then these are double sleeves, so like putting them in here is a little bit tricky, but I use this to help compress them so that they don't stand out quite so much like they did. But yeah, they fit tight, that's for sure. So that helps get the air out of them. <clears throat> what packs would you guys suggest that I get? Because I want to get some packs. Again, I'm trying to build my collection so that when I'm ready to start building my own deck, I actually have something to pull from. And then if I want to buy a couple individuals, I can. Wrong way. This is still kind of thick, so I usually will. Beautiful. Just a little. Voila. And I've got the um, Abalone mud jug right now that I'm dipping on. And they are, in fact, spill proof. So check out mudjug.com for a mud jug. And go to your local game card store to buy your cards, guys. Don't buy them online. Support your small businesses. It's hard times already. Go to a local card store. Don't order online. Have a snazzy day. I don't know where I heard that from, but it was a YouTuber, actually. can't remember which one. He always says that. Have a snazzy day. Anyway, see you on the next one.